Our next guest says stocks in the space already have a lot of bad news priced in, but questions do remain around regulation, deposit costs, and credit. Thomas Show is here, a CEO of KBW, a steeple company. Been dying to know what you thought of Friday's action overall. Well, you know, it was really interesting because uh, the market is, has really low expectations for what interest rates are doing to their earnings, yet almost all of the earnings that came on Friday, they beat on net interest income. And I think that's one of the underlying themes is that there's a big headwind to earnings because of these higher rates, but the, but the pace of deterioration is slowing, sort of that second curve. And you saw it in Schwab's earnings this morning, meaning they missed numbers. You think the stock would react poorly, but the management team talked about how it got better as the quarter unfolded and even better yet in October. And so that's what investors are looking for, which is where are the inflection points uh, on the pressure from rates going up as much as they did as quickly as they did? Yeah, we just talked to Walt on, on, the, on the quarter. He said not only is the cash shorting issue getting better, we're 80 percent done with the TD Ameritrade. I mean, it feels like the sentiment is so, so negative on these stocks. Is it justified? It's, it's overwhelmingly negative. I, I think there are trophies that are, uh, that are on sale right now, and there are individual stocks that should be bought. Is Schwab uh, one of them? I think Schwab's a long-term winner, absolutely. And I think that they're in a temporary moment, and they're going to manage their way through it. There could be volatility to earnings. As a matter of fact, our analyst on that one does like it with a $69 stock price and doubled down during all the, all the uh, turmoil of the spring. But... So, so the view is there are multiple valuation metrics you can look at. Stocks are down, bank stocks are down 25%, markets up 15 You can look at the relative P.E. multiple. It's at a multi-decade low. Um, we came out with a new measure this, uh, this weekend. If you look at, you take credit out of it, you look at price to pre-tax, pre-provision earnings, we're almost getting to the point of global financial crisis levels. And so these stocks uh, have a lot of bad news in them. And I don't think it's going to take a lot to get the group to move. Does the um, sort of suppressed nature of the chart of Goldman, Morgan Stanley, B of A, are they all sort of stories, individual execution related stories? I, I think they are. So, you know, we, we follow 210 banks, which is more than anybody else. So I can talk about the median bank. The reality is they're going to be examples that can get those who are bearish very fired up on the quarter. For example, I'm sure there'll be some credit hiccups we'll see in the coming weeks. Um, I'm sure there'll be banks that take a bigger hit to their bond portfolio than others. But when you, when you look at what, what's in place right now, is at least in the case of the big investment banks, is we're waiting for the capital markets to restart. It's going to happen. It's been taking longer than we all believe. But in our work, when the turn comes, it's pretty big. And we think, too, in the dialogue from these managements, you're going to see is that everybody's generally staying invested in the space. They're not cutting uh, headcount like they would have because, you know, myself included is, I think, a term on, on capital raising and M&A is going to happen. Well, it says in your notes the increasing regulations. I mean, I do wonder how much of an overhang it is on this group, the Basel Endgame rules. J.P. Morgan even devoted a few slides to it in their presentation. I've never seen the regulatory backlash uh, as strong as it is right now on this. And when you look at it, you know, the, the U.S. regulators have elected at least what, what J.P. Morgan says is to give them a 30 percent premium capital ratio relative to what they needed to get. Um, and uh, so it's quite extraordinary.